Hello and welcome to Web Architecture Fundamentals with Go. My name is Todd McLeod and this is my good friend Daniel Hoffman. And we are super excited to have you joining us in this course where we are going to be pair programming and pair teaching the fundamentals of web architecture and answering many of the questions that people have and many of the things that people don't know about how to build great web apps. If you take a look at our course outline here, you can see we're gonna go through a getting started section and then learning tools. We're gonna to go through Git and how to use versions and how to version a repo. And then we're gonna go through some basic code and how to use curl to do a RESTful web application and make requests and get responses back. We'll give you a lot of hands-on exercises in this course. We're gonna go over software architecture and a lot of the big buzzwords around architecture and explain what these concepts are, like monolith versus microservices versus REST versus SPA versus MVC. And we're gonna go through interfaces and how you can use interfaces to decouple your code and make your code so they could grow with your code base as your code base grows. We're gonna go through some things like how to write tests and writing example tests and generating uh, mock code, go mock. We're gonna see how go mock works and look at method sets in Go. So this is all gonna be using the Go programming language, which is the best programming language you can learn today. We're gonna to go over what context is in Go and why that's important and how you use it. We're gonna give you a lot of hands-on exercises with the solutions and all of the hands-on exercises. So we're gonna give you a lot of hands-on exercises with context and we're gonna look at dealing with errors because we want you to write solid, robust code, code that works today keeps working and when it doesn't work it shows you the error why it didn't work and so this course is going to be great it's going to give you some of the fundamentals for building solid web apps this is web architecture fundamentals we're super excited that you're here and we're super excited to share this course with you it's one course in a series so after you take this course there'll be another course and then another one after that where we dive into some of the implementation specific details of actually building them out. So if you join us on this journey through these courses, including this one, you're gonna get some great uh, education about how to build great web apps. And this, uh, the architecture concepts we go over will apply not only to web architecture in many places, but to all software architecture. So we're excited you're here. We're looking forward to having you join us. Click that enroll button, come join us in this class and start learning web architectures fundamentals with both Daniel and myself. You have anything you want to add? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> He's the professional developer, so he brings that side of the experience and I'm a tenured professor in California, so I bring that side of the, uh, the equation, that experience. So it's gonna be fun. We look forward to having you in class.